And here is attempt number four. So, you want to make your multiplayer list look that much more appealing? I'm sure the answer is yes, and if you do, stick around and I'll show you how to do so. Okay, to stylize the names of the servers in the menu, we will need an external program to achieve this. But fear not, it is very easy and it won't take you long at all. Sound good? Let's get to it. The program we're going to use is MBT Explorer, previously known as MBT Edit. Head to the description and download the latest version. To make the installation easier for yourself, simply download the installer here, which is the .msi file. Although I'm pretty sure this only works with Windows. There could be other versions for other operating systems, I have no idea. But if you have Windows, then you're lucky. And what you're going to want to do is click this one here. Now what you're going to want to do is double click this .msi file and you should see this window. Once it's appeared, click next and accept the terms and then click next again. Now this is going to be where the program installs. I recommend you keep this as default unless you specifically want it in a custom place. If you do, simply click the change button down here. This is entirely optional, it usually doesn't matter. This should appear, this is just asking for your permission to install. You can trust this, just click yes. Then click finish. As you can see, if you head over to the start menu, just type MBT, you should see MBT Explorer appears here. Now you're going to want to head over to where Minecraft is installed. Simply press Windows and R. Then this run window should appear. By default, your game should be installed in percent app data percent. Press enter and head over to dot Minecraft. And your folder should be like this. Simply type servers and you should come down to this servers dot that. Simply double click that and head down to the bottom. And then you want to click look for another app on this PC. Now you're going to want to find where you installed MBT Explorer. Enter that folder and you should find mbtexplorer.exe. Double click that and you'll see this window. Servers.dat is basically where you have all your server data stored. If you click this plus icon here, you will see a different amount of servers than I do. If you have four servers, you will see four folders. If you have seven, you'll see seven. If you have just one, you're only going to see one folder. Now let's say we want to edit Hypixel. For me, that is right at the top. So I'm going to select the one at the top here. This structure basically depends on how you have it organized in your multiplayer menu. So in which order you have the servers. I'm going to click this plus icon again. And I can tell this is the right one because it says Hypixel right here. And the IP is a Hypixel IP. Then you're going to want to double click this one here that starts with name and you should see this edit string most people probably don't know how minecraft color codes work if you don't that's fine i recommend you search that up on the internet because that's way too much to explain in one video but the general idea is you use this icon right here this is called the section sign sometimes you use the and symbol but in this case we're going to need to use this one right here let's say you want to make yours light red and bold then you're going to want to type section c section l c will be light red and l will be bold then after that i'm going to type high pixel and once you set it to what you want, just click OK and you will see it changes right here. Then you're going to want to click the save icon up here. That will apply the styles that we've just done. And then as you can see, it hasn't changed yet, but you're going to want to exit this menu and then go back into multiplayer. And as you can see, it's light red and bold. Styling is based on your choice, so you can set this to whatever you want. You can even do crazy stuff like this and make it italics and whatever. Or you can use multiple colours if you want. I just have a simple red here, which is bold. That's just how I like mine. And once it definitely looks how you want, you can simply close MBT Explorer. And that's all there is to it. Now that was quite advanced, but once you know how to do it, it should be quite easy to remember. If not, that's not a problem, it won't take long. Now I realise this was quite different from all my other content. I'm just trying new content out and seeing what works for my channel, because I'm in the place where I don't really know what to upload and what will work best for me, so I'm going to keep trying and see where it goes. Okay, that's all there is to it. If you found this helpful, please leave a like, that will only take two seconds and will really help me out, and then I'll know that you want more content like this. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time.